Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 12. Continue to develop our little base here, repairing things, building things, moving things to our new stockpiles, trying to uh, convert over uh, Croy over here, only a 3% chance. <sighs> it's pretty bad. I mean, um, Grumberto does have the uh, the dentures, but it doesn't seem to make a difference uh, whether we're using Grumberto or RoboJeb. Either one of them is having about a 3% chance to complete that. I'm going to go ahead and open up the mining over here. We'll get some of that steel out from our own base, which should minimize some of the walking that some people are doing some of the time. Yeah, see, they're hauling just a small chunk. I don't know, 75. Okay, it's working out. You're hauling up people. Got to rebuild all these turrets here. We're going to see if we can't capture more people next time. Some, when a small group comes, we're going to keep trying to grab small groups of people whenever we get the chance, you know, one or two, see if we can arrest them. Ideally, if they're hanging out in here, because if something goes wrong, we can have our turrets to back us up. Although, we're probably just going to shoot ourselves. Eh, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll play that one by ear. We got a lot of stuff to collect all over the map still. It'd be nice to get a few more of the hauling jobs done. Work-wise, work -wise, I'm still okay with this. Plus Beats is mostly going to be doing a lot of cleaning still. Things are finally starting to look a little less filthy, which is good. It's a little bit better. Still not much, right? Another storage there. Ooh, cargo pods. Right in our base. How convenient is that? Warg for fur. Cool. I like it. Build. Build and repair would be quite nice. Finish up this wall. We're low on blocks. Well, we might have we might have a bunch of non-marble blocks, is maybe what's going on. No, we've got some marble blocks. We're still okay. Um, speaking of marble, what I need to do is drill out these walls and make these bedrooms a little fancier, but. I don't think we need to do that right now. Our moods are manageable-ish. And we've got other important jobs to do, so yeah. I guess I won't I won't fill up our time that way. Um uh, still waiting for this power to get mined out here, or this this line to get mined out so we can go and hook it up to the rest of our power grid, set up more solar lamps, get some more growth going on. That'll be nice. I mean we were good on food. Um but it would be nice to have some more stuff going on. Our cotton plants, they're coming in. They should finish before winter sets in, and that's good because we need a lot more cotton to finish off some of our cool floors and things. I could move the, b the beds too, that might be a good idea, and then they'll show up the um, our thing better. Oh, we actually need to remove the floor right there. No? Can I not remove the floor under the vitals monitor? That's very annoying. I guess I can uninstall it. So I won't lose the materials. That's good. Well, this one's fine. Just the other one. 3% chance. Failed again. That's going to take a while. But we'll get you. You'll be a nice addition. Okay, so now... Can I remove that floor? Yes, good. Excellent. Uh, we can... Structure... Wall... Maybe put in a door over here too. Why not? I like that. More food, be good on meals. And things are, are things are stable. We gotta build more stuff. I'm really tempted to just build a crap ton more guns in here, but we actually don't have a ton of spare steel. Well, we've got some, but it's gotta be hauled around here, so in the sake of efficiency, we gotta bring this AI persona core inside of our base. It can't be damaged, apparently. It doesn't have hit points, so it doesn't have that sort of urgency, but we could sell that for a lot of money. You also use it to build a spaceship bit, but I think I'd rather just sell it at this point. You're going to dump that. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to let you finish the dump, and then I'm going to get you to haul this Persona Core into the base. Plus Beats is praying at the grave, or morning, or something. It's been a while since we've had anyone, like, be idle, for example. <laughs> Things are just busy and crazy all the time. Severe illness. Who's that? Oh! Yeah, I don't care. So I'm going to go over there and strip them down. Hee hee hee. Uh, it's so far away, probably no one will get around to it. Are you just uh, watching the stars out there? You gonna mine some granite? Oh, from there, more storage, which we will need. It might not be the same sort of priority um, that is called for there, but what the hell. Mm hmm. Big dumping stockpile over there. Big job to dump some of this stuff. 
all more of it. Still have like things just like just burning down. Like this plasteel knife could be sold for a lot of money. Grumberta, why don't you go and like oh, you're not a hauler. And everyone else is in bed. I don't know why that hasn't been hauled. It's so close. Here. Haul that. We'll just sell it next time we get a chance. It's gotta be more hauling. I gotta stop like giving people jobs. <laughs> We've got tons of space. We're pretty good. Got lots of bedrooms. Everything is fine. Um, no one's using this. There, I'll pre-flag it as a prisoner bed. And turn on the lights. We'll be ready to capture another prisoner. Actually, that's unowned as well, too. Cargo pods? Other side of the map? What is it this time? Chinchilla fur. Well, we'll unforbid it anyway. Um, deconstruct that. Whoops! And that. There we go. There's like more guns, right, from all the invasions. I guess the, the constructing is such a high priority, so they came and did that right away, but... Like, while you're out here, why don't you grab a big chunk of the steel and then bring that home? There you go. Good. Good daft. I realize it's the other side of the map, but you can do it. Chinchilla's pregnant again. And they do pop out a lot of babies. You could start butchering them at some point. Still waiting for a sort of, uh, I guess, a critical mass. Exotic goods trader. Now, see... Wow, we can sell them that core, I bet you. We're going to sell them basically all the clothing. Whether it's good or bad at this point, it's fine. Most of it is pretty pathetic. It'd be nice if we could automate some of this stuff. It's going to free up a lot of place in our storage. Holy cow. Um... Some of those crappy personal shields is okay. Just looking there. Uh, we got a Devil Strand t-shirt, but it's poor quality. Like, some of that might be worth keeping. Under the hand, it's also worth more money. We're not going to sell the Bionic Arm. Um, no, I was going to say, could we get a, an eye for a RoboJob? Oh, no. Did RoboJob already get an eye? I can't remember. I can't remember the work we've done to our people. RoboJob, what are you looking like? No, you're still missing an eye. I would like to get you a Bionic Eye. Just need an opportunity to buy you one. We're going to cut a birch tree where? Oh, for our little concrete floor around this thing. Good. Excellent. And then you're going to go home. It's such a long walk. Listen, while you're out here, why don't you actually, like, put in a little effort? Is it Daft that's in poor mood? No, it's not, actually. Okay. Then I'll let you go and rest. you got to do a little bit more work while you're out here. You got If you're going to walk the big distance, then just get some stuff done while you're here. Still have some more steel potentially in there. Not to mention the stuff that's just lying around. Be nice to get that stored up. Wow, yeah, we emptied this stockpile. Holy cow. Now we still have um, the tailoring table over here. Good. It's going to make some more clothing for us. Make sure we always have some in a stockpile that people will automatically replace their clothing as we go on. Potentially give us some stuff to sell as well at some point. Combat supplier. Uh, we might have some guns to sell. Nope, not that. The combat supplier. Yeah, yeah, we got a bunch of primitive tools to sell. Um, Molotov cocktails. There's no way I'm going to trust my people with that, so we're going to get rid of it. Pistols, I'm not interested in. Charge rifle, we're going to keep. These are all pretty crap. Plasteel knife, worth a good amount of money. Um, buy some more medicine? Sure. Oh, we got lots of money in the bank. More than enough for a prisoner, maybe even a couple. It's been a while since someone landed in our base. Now that I've said that, they will. And they'll be like mechanoids, just because. Oh, another combat supplier. Well, we don't need more than one. We'll be fine. I mean, we could buy some fancy guns, too. There's an idea about that. 3% chance. All things over here. Repair things. Good. Thinking, wow. Oh, you know what I probably need? Um, some redundant power circuits back in here. Because they keep getting blown up. There we go. Um, can I run a power circuit through the wall? Yes. So that would be much better, wouldn't it? I think it would. Much less likely to get blown up. There we go. Excellent. All right. We'll get some workers on that at some point. Uh, I'm not going to designate any more mining. This over here will be set to a stockpile to match this one. Um, not that we don't have enough room, 
but it'll actually be nice to have it in proximity. And actually at some point, one or the other might fill up. So we're gonna paste that setting in there. Good. So we have plenty of food storage in here. It will potentially fill up once our harvest comes in, but overall we're okay. How are we doing on actual vet? Um, that's all meat. Oh yeah, here, a couple of thousand units. Apparently milk is included under vegetarian options. I guess that makes sense. So we're totally good on both. Yeah, get that power conduit in there instead of running through there. I think it'll explode less. I mean, every now and again we lose a wooden chunk of wall. I don't know if you'd lose the wire under that, that too. Maybe you would. But especially with the marble, they should really be quite resistant. And then we can run more stuff along the outside. Pirate Merchant, please, 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 please have a um, an, an unvoluntary worker for us. Nope. We can sell Croyo, but I think we'll get him. Uh, we still have a bionic arm in storage, so I'm not going to buy another one of those. Um, I'm not going to sell that weapon. Oh, I can sell this bow. I'm not going to buy the incendiary. We could buy some armor vests. It's only poor, but it'd be 100%. No, we'll just do that. And yeah, I'm not going to sell Croyo. We'll, we'll get Croyo to join us at some point. Visitors over here. Too many to kidnap them, though. All right. Our base is eventually going to come together. So I think we'll end up building like a bunch more sandbags and a bunch more guns along the edge there. I'm actually tempted to start. I'm going to spread these out a little bit more. They're li less likely to blow each other up. Although they're so far back, they're not really going to get targeted very quickly. But still, another pirate merchant. Come on. Nope. Nope. That's our arm. Yeah, they don't really... They're bringing us beer, a Psychic Insanity Lance, and medicine. Overpriced at that. The Psychic Insanity Lance, I think it's single use. One use drives any character in Berserk State from any distance, even through walls. Yeah. Interesting, but we'll pass. At least for now. Maybe in the late game. It actually would be nice when there's a siege to just insanity one of them. That would actually be really entertaining. Really entertaining. What you doing? Okay. Oh yeah, to our turrets. That's fine. We have a much more, a little bit more steel out there, but I'm not going to mine it out. I think we're actually potentially good on steel. And as I say that, no, I guess we have none in the bank. There's still some lying around, but we can also get a lot more from inside our base, which I guess makes more sense to focus on because it'll just be a lot quicker. And we're going to want to mine. Oh my God! We recruited Croyo. Hello, Croyo. Welcome to the family. Your name is now going to be uh, Wolf Hound Lewis. Welcome, Wolf Hound Lewis. You're good at cooking, uh, decent at crafting as well. So, uh, okay, firefight number one, doctor, no. Patient flick. Cook if we need any cooking or butchering. Um, and then, what? Do we want you crafting? Well, we'll put this on so you can level yourself up cook cutting blocks and things. These guys are actually getting pretty good. Yeah. Bishop, let me... Um, you're going to start doing more more tailoring. We actually don't have any tailoring right now, and we don't have any spare clothes. So you're going to tailor first before you get the craft. If you finish all your tailoring jobs, then you can cut blocks or, or chop off me mechanoids or whatever the heck might come up. But that'll be good. And then over here, you're getting to a nine. Tell you what, we'll put you on smithing. So we got a smith, a tailor... You're going to keep working on your craft for now. We still don't have a... De uh, plus beats could art. Actually, it might be time to put this up. Tell you what, let's put this number one. No, let's put it number two. You clean, then you go to your art, and then you haul if, if you're that. We'll put a limit on the art over here. Um, yeah, we've already got that. Five large sculptures is the most we're going to have. And right now we have stone blocks and wood is allowed. And that's it which I'm happy about. You can practice on that. When you get better, we'll unlock some of the fancier stuff. It'd be nice if you were a, a super passionate person, but we'll take what we can get. All right, so we're going to slow down our hauling a wee bit with this, but that's okay. Turn off that power. I'm going to leave these two for prisoner rooms just so that I, I know that I've got the space properly assigned for it. Got lots of room over here for very fancy bedrooms at some point. All right, still can't buy anyone, but that's okay. A little bit of fire over there. Hopefully we're okay. These dry thunderstorms that we get in this biome, they're just brutal. 
Just brutal. That's a bit less great. I assume that's correctly in my home zone. Actually, it's not. You know what? Let me go ahead and add that in then. And it's during the day. Someone should be taking care of that. Oh, now it's starting to rain, so it's actually going to be fine. Grimurda will go and help put out the fires, but it's not much of a problem. Okay, that tunnel is done. Power. There. Oh, we don't have any metal right now, but that's okay. Get that, and we'll get the sort of redundancy going that way. Good, and then once that's set up, we'll set up more sunlights in here. Which is going to be really nice. 33 degrees. That's working hard just to try to keep it from overheating. Um, this sun lamp does go there, but I guess we know the edge. So again, we lose a little bit of it. That might be okay. So, up to the block. So we can put a new growing area. Growing, growing zone like this. That's like that. Um, and this will be another slow to grow crop, like the Zeragium, which I don't think we're growing right now. I think I overrode it there. We had one, but it was cotton. Oh, did everything go away? How come? Did it get harvested? It's not too cold, is it? It's nine degrees. No, we're okay. Uh, that is too big of a group. Oh, they're well armored too, to go and kidnap. So we're not going to do that. Extra guns. Good. I'll feel pretty safe, I think. Where are you going? You're going to haul some steel, but not enough. Only a stack of 35. It's because it's a construction job, not a hauling job, is what he's doing right now. It's a bit on the annoying side. Repairing power conduits over here. Oh, that's actually very good. Please do that. We don't want that to break. And then we need those to be done. Get that new lamp done. Get some more harvesting underway. I wonder if we need that support. May as well have it. Oh, more visitors. That is not a lot. Are you guys armed at all? Pistol, shiv, pistol, and what's your actual combat skill? Actually, not bad, so maybe we don't want to kidnap you. Because try to arrest, I mean... Well, if it's just one person, it's pretty easy. If it's a group, then we really get a fight, and of course we're going to be in very close range, because you have to be in melee range to attempt an arrest. Hmm... Still need some more repairs over there, plus the flooring, but overall okay. This gold got finished mining, but no one's actually hauling it. Just because there's too many things to haul back home. I mean, everyone's still very busy. Cleaning dirt outside. Visitors are leaving, that's fine. You're going to go for a rest, I'm okay with that. Still mad we lost our bull. Still quite a bit of demand for steel, so we may as well mine out a little bit more. And then replace that wall. Mm, another good night's sleep. So much human meat. So much human meat. I wonder if we can sell it. Actually, probably we can. Next time there's a bulk goods uh, dealer, we'll just dump all our human meat on them. Tell them it's long pig. They won't know the difference. What are you doing? Oh, has that been flagged to dump? Hmm. I guess that's fine. Let's make it explicit, just in case. Oh, there we go. Finally butchering the mechanoids. Nice. Plasteel. Starting to come together. And you're just... What are you doing? Relaxing socially. You're talking to the dog. All right. Well, everyone needs a hobby. You gotta haul that so far, don't you? Copy. Paste. Recruit, unrecruit. There we go. And when you're not hauling as far, better. Such a damn waste of walking distance. Oh. oh, but we've got some space down here. Okay, so they might have been hauling to there, which isn't too bad because of the box. Plus, Beats is in a poor mood. How come? Solar flare, so we get no power whatsoever. Probably means we'll get attacked. No impressive bedroom. Oh, you're greedy. You really want an impressive bedroom. Do any of them count as impressive? Oops. Or just like moderate. I mean, being bigger would be better. Tohei. Um, 
All right, plus beats. Let's see what we can do for you. Oh, there's this one. What does this one look like? It's pretty mad. Oh, it's got crap walls. That's part of it, too. We're really going to have to work to make you a really, really nice bedroom. Hey, anyway, what? Uh, let's go ahead and mine out. So this will be... Actually, the wall will be here. So if we do something like this, we can do like an 8x8 eight eight bedroom. Very large. Oh, raid! Of course, while our power's out. Okay, they're going to prepare for a little while. They're only tribes people. Um, let me set a restriction here. Everyone stay in area 1. Which is... Actually, we can expand area 1. Silly me. Area 1 can include all this because it's all indoors. And that. And that. And all through here. And all over there. And down here. And actually, I have to remove this area from area one, because otherwise people keep walking outside to repair that, even when they're not supposed to. Okay. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and toggle these guns on now. They won't do anything, but at least they'll be switched. Can't do anything while the solar flare... I knew we'd get attacked! The game seems to love to do this. Solar flare plus uh, you're under attack. Um, let's make sure people are equipped with proper weapons. Pump shotgun. And you are a brawler, aren't you? No, you're not. You just suck. Alright. But you can at least grab that. That's going to be okay. Tattered apparel. Darkness. Yeah, you're pretty miserable. There's darkness all the way inside my base. Although, right now, the darkness can't be helped. Because there's no power to anything. Shield user has a ranged weapon. Shield user, yeah. Don't use the shield, or I'll just... I guess I'll just drop the shield. Although that'll forbid it for whatever reason. Very annoying. You don't have any body armor. Okay, so they still have an attack. Where are they? Oh god, there's a lot of them. Oh, this is gonna be really bad, you guys. Really, really, really bad. No, nothing to do... I mean... I suppose we could just wait them out. Well, no, they're going to go and smash things. We have to go out there. Oh, they're just going to storm us, though. What do we do? Seriously, what do we do? They're going to come over here. They're going to smash all the guns. Some of them might be taken out by explosions. If I go out and stand here behind the sandbags, they're just going to rush me and kill all my guys. So we're going to have to wait inside the base. They're gonna, I think they'll smash the guns first. Eventually, they'll go for the doors. And then we'll, you know, stand all our people in here and try to kill them when they do that. And hope the solar flare ends in time. This game sometimes is very mean. Very, very mean. Uh, we're going to put a cut in here. I got to warn you, it's a very big possibility that this next episode will be the end of our colony. Because that is a ridiculous amount of people. Whew. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.